Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dana and thanks again for watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Today, I'm finally testing Dime Beauty sunscreens. I've seen these on social media for a long time. I've kind of like held off because you just don't know, especially when it's a non-tinted sunscreen, you're just like, okay, it's just a non-tinted sunscreen. But anyway, I picked them both up. This is the untinted and this is the tinted and I'm going to be testing them on my face today. So I'll give you all my thoughts. I will show you what they look like, of course, on, and we'll just get into it. So if you're not already subscribed, please do. It's here, here, wherever. It really helps my channel. It's a small channel and every sub helps. And then of course, give it a like if you do enjoy it. So without further ado, I mean, is that not the most overused line in YouTube? <laughs> Let's jump into it. Okay, I'm gonna try this with my hair down. Maybe, you know what? Got this here for a reason. We'll put on the cat ears. It kind of helps. <laughs> and what I'm gonna be doing today is what I do all the time, well, not every single time, but I will apply half on one side and half on the other. That way you kind of get to see what the tint looks like, what the non-tinted one looks like. And then of course I'll go through all my thoughts. So I'm gonna zoom you in and we'll get going. Okay. So I always use my quarter of a teaspoon. You know, one of these days I need to get like a fancy one. Maybe that would be good merch one of these days. If I ever get to be a big enough channel, I'll make like a nice fancy tea or a quarter teaspoon so that you can, you know, have your quarter teaspoon with you all the time. But until then I will use my dollar store one. <laughs> so what I do when I do a half and half, I do about an eighth of a teaspoon. So try to like, you know, eyeball it. The point of it is not necessarily for this video to get the exact right coverage or amount of sunscreen, but it's just to kind of, you know, get into the habit or hopefully you guys are in the habit of using the quarter of a teaspoon. So I don't want to go without using it, but right now I'm going to wash it off my face because I'm doing a half and half. So, you know, okay. I'm just blabbering on and on. This is obviously the tinted side. Okay, so both of these are called Wonder Screen, and you have the tinted and the non-tinted. Right now, the tinted and the duo, which is what I got, I got both for like um, a bundle deal. Those are both out of stock, so the only available one right now is the untinted, but hopefully by the time this video goes up, um, they'll both be in stock. So the Wonder Screen retails for $44, and you get 50 grams or 1.7 fluid ounces, and they say it's a clean mineral sunscreen, perfect for everyday use. And now I'm going to use the non-tinted. Okay, so this is the Wonder Screen. This is their original broad spectrum SPF 30. It retails for $44 and comes in 50 grams or 1.7 fluid ounces. Right now, it is the only sunscreen in stock. The tinted Wonder Screen is out of stock and the Duo, which you get both for a bundle price, are also out of stock. I did get both together and that was $83 instead of $88. So each one does retail for $44. They come in this hard metal container. I mean, I don't know if it's actually metal, but it feels very luxe, but it's not travel friendly. It is a lot heavier than some of your normal plastic ones. So these have the same formula, so I'm not going to read over both of them, but the tinted one obviously just has a light tint to it. They both have 19% zinc oxide, but the non-tinted one does have butyl salicylate, and they have on their website, they kind of do like the ingredients and then where it's from, the origin. And it's really funny that they say butyl salicylate and they say salicylic acid. I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm not gonna talk about it because this video is not about that. But if you are looking for 100% mineral sunscreen, the non-tinted one does have butyl salicylate, so that can operate kind of like an active ingredient for some people and like a chemical ingredient. So both of these are pretty glowy. I wouldn't say that if you have more oily skin that they are going to be exactly what you would want, but if you have more normal or dry skin and you do want a glow, these are just really nice amount without being too sticky or greasy. As you can see, the non-tinted side does have a bit of a cast. If you have like light medium skin, if you have lighter skin, it's going to be a little bit better on you. But for me, this is um, kind of the, the comparison and it really highlights the fact that it does have a bit of a cast. Now, this side for the tint, I just did a video on the RMS Beauty new sunscreens, 
and that tinted one was way too much even like the medium shade it was just well 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 beyond my um tone but this one i think is a really good match to my skin tone in the summer i think in the winter it'll give me a nice little tan but it may not match the rest of my body so that's kind of what it looks like in terms of the tints in terms of what it kind of feels like on your skin I wouldn't say either of them really ever set down. So if that's a problem for you, if you don't want it to transfer, they are going to transfer unless you put powder or some makeup on overneath, overneath, over top. <laughs> but I think a lot of people are really gonna enjoy this. If you're in heavy AC or you have drier skin, they may set down a bit more. But for me, I don't blast my air conditioning at home and I do kind of have more normal skin. So I'm going to have it kind of sit on my skin the rest of the day. But I love, love, love the tinted one. I think, well, this is not the tinted one. This is the tinted one. I think this has one of the more natural kind of shades. It looks just like my skin, but a little bit glowier, a little bit healthier, and a very sheer amount of coverage. If you want heavy coverage, you're gonna have to put makeup on over top. But I think the way it looks right now, especially like if I had it all over my face, totally fine leaving the house if you want to wear a little bit more makeup you obviously can put a foundation over top but my favorite way to wear this is just as the base and then maybe a little concealer around my eyes and then a little powder just to kind of keep it there and it looks so natural so beautiful so that's kind of my preference but of course you can wear it lots of different ways and it works really well underneath makeup okay so the price is pretty steep 44 dollars. you're getting this bottle that is does have a pump top but it's a little bit harder to get the product out of you know at the end of the bottle when you're getting down to it you're gonna have to just open take the um, tube out and kind of pump it or you know dollop it <laughs> into your hand so I wouldn't say the packaging is my favorite for like actual practicality but I would say it is absolutely stunning if you just need one sunscreen to put on your counter which I say that and it's kind of weird, but these are just absolutely beautiful on your counter. Um, so that is a plus to it. And it only comes in this one tinted shade and then the non-tinted shade. So it's kind of like it works for you or it doesn't and you don't have a lot of options, but that's kind of what it is. As I mentioned, I do think a lot of people are really, really going to enjoy this because as I sit here, it does sink into my skin a little bit more, but I've noticed I've worn it out many times and it's never going to be 100% like set or matte or anything like that. But I think people who have drier skin than I do are going to really, really enjoy it. So that's kind of all I've got for you guys. If I'm going to suggest one of these, if you, you know, most people would only buy one, I would definitely say the tinted one is my favorite. I don't reach for the non-tinted one. I have mixed them before because they are the same formula but I don't recommend that you buy both of them just to mix them unless you know like you need an in-between shade. But yeah, I would definitely recommend the tinted one. It is one of my favorites. I will probably be using it a little bit less in the summer just because of my skin type and where I live. But come winter time, I'm gonna be reaching for this one quite a bit. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.